Today, I'm going to be renovating one of my subscribers' houses in Bloxburg. So this is my subscriber, Jess, and today I'm going to be renovating her house, and she has a budget of 150000 so yeah, let's have a look inside. So uh, this is the living room, the dining room. Wow, this kitchen's really nice. This is honestly something that I'd build probably. So this is her bedroom. Oh, did I just grab a book? So this room was meant to be the office, but she said she lost motivation to do it. So I'll make sure to turn that into an office. Looks like she has a nice little role play home here. So I actually haven't done a building video in such a long time. I'm hoping for the next building video to be the bell battle, but I don't know. So, any notes before I start? So she just wants me to keep the layout mostly the same, so. She wants like a cozy rustic theme. I don't know what to do because I've never <laughs> renovated a subscriber's house before, so. Okay, so she said she has the color wheel, advanced placement, and multiple floors, so. No transform tool, but that's fine because you can still transform a little bit even without the transform tool. If we wanna go for that whole cozy rustic vibe, I kind of want like a floor here and then I'm kind of nervous because she's like watching me. But So what I think I'm going to do is my little build hack where I make little stepping stones out of the plain markings. I'm pretty sure my neighborhood is like a light sand green. I'm not, not sure, sure though. I think it's actually a light slime green. I don't know, but I know it's a custom color. So I'm going to uh, try to... Okay, I think this looks pretty accurate to the grass color in my neighborhood. So so she has two lights here on the side. So what I think I'm going to do is each little stepping stone gets like a light right here. And to make the lighting like more ambient, I think we can do some linen. Yeah, linen looks better. Now, I really love the garden she has, so I think I'm just going to change a few things about it, but I think I'm going to leave the garden mostly the same. It looks like she has at least some gardening level, so that's good. So what did she use to make her porch? Looks like she used a flat roof. I think I'm gonna delete this porch just to make like, oh, I wanna keep some things on it first. I want to kind of redo it a little bit, so. What I think I'm gonna do is do what I usually do and make a flat roof. Okay, she has the basements game pass. So I think we can make this in one piece now. And then we can kind of make like a little step right here. So she said she built most of this house before she got advanced placement. So I'm assuming by that comment, she wants me to like fix it up using advanced placement. So I kind of want to get new like rails right here so you know what i'm going to do is i'm going to i might look on pinterest in a little bit because you know what i kind of like these rails but i don't know if they really fit the vibe so you know what i think i'm gonna do picket fences yeah i like this maybe we can make it just a little bit darker just for that kind of cozy rustic vibe that she wants so yeah i like that and then if we want different pillars, we could, um, I like these for the pillars. Oof. Okay, I just realized that they're kind of poking through the roof, so I need to scale them down. Wait a minute. Okay, these are slanted roofs, but if you use the clone tool, it kind of looks like they're made out of basic shapes. And I was like, <gasps> I thought these were basic shapes for a second. What I think I'm going to do is redo this roof, but this time make it in one piece. So it's not like a bunch of different pieces. But to be fair, she said she built this house before she had advanced placement. I am not judging because I'm pretty sure you can't like place your roofs fancy if you don't have advanced placement. You know what, I realized I just kind of messed up right here. So you know what, we need to redo that. Why can't I just place roofs right? For like a new roof texture, we could do brick. I don't know, maybe hurricane gray but we make it like really dark. Yeah, I think that looks all right. And then these pillars are bothering me how they're still kind of sticking through the roof. So I think we'll scale them down just like one. Although the edge of that railing was kind of floating. So I needed to add a pillar at the end right there. So what I think I'm gonna do is move this rocking chair to be like right next to the front door. And then add this log end table next to it. And then 
You could put like the newspaper on it. And then like a little mug. Okay, what I don't like about using the actual newspaper is that you can't set like a mug on top of it. As for if you just use like a paper pile, you can set a mug on top of it. So we'll have the little newspaper and a mug. And I have a feeling with the cozy rustic vibe, we're going to be using a lot of flint and a lot of linen. First, I want to kind of do the siding a little bit. So if she wants like a rustic vibe, I think we might do like a really dark hurricane gray again, like we did for the roof. Cause I feel like that would make it look more like rustic. And then for these little windows at the top here, I think we can do cobblestone. Cause she made them like bricks up here. So I think that's kind of like a hint that she wanted these windows up here to be like a different color than the rest of the house. Oh my God, guys, I forgot to take a screenshot of what it looked like before Um, for the thumbnail. You, you idiot, you're honestly an idiot. I don't know what's Wait, but it's okay because she told me that she has screenshots of it. So at least there's that. Also, she built this house on mobile like, can you imagine building this house on mobile like on a phone i'm so impressed like like i could never build this on my phone or my ipad like so what it looked like she had is a flat roof for this room and then the rest of it was like a gable roof but what i think i'm going to do is make all of this a gable roof and so what i think i'm going to do is replace her chimney with this cobblestone one because it looks more like realistic to like a rustic house yeah i think that looks all right oh my gosh she did my build hack for her driveway but what i think i'm going to do is delete the rectangle pattern kind of and make it square so it's like matched with the sidewalk okay so she does have screenshots of it for the thumbnail Looks like she just said something in tags. I guess the world will never know what she's saying. What I don't get is why Bloxburg has to literally tag every single thing you say. Like one time when I was playing Brookhaven, I said the letter U so I didn't have to type out Y-O-U because I'm lazy and I didn't feel like typing out the letters Y-O-U. I literally just put the letter U and it hashtagged it. Like, so I love this garage door, but they have one that is like actually meant to be like a rustic theme. Oh my God, I don't think it fits. Anyway, what I think I'm actually going to do is replace this garage door with the arched one, just because the arched one is more like, wait a minute. Yeah, no, I think I have to leave this one because it, it wouldn't, wouldn't let, let me place, place the, the other, other one. one. I remember before I learned the hack where you could just hold down shift and then click things and it would color it and it would color anything like the last thing you colored something. What the? It makes sense. Before I learned that, I used to literally go in and do this for everything. I got curious because I would see YouTubers, um, like I would see YouTubers just click something and it would color. So I researched it a little bit and it turns out if you hold down shift, you can color anything just by one click. So I just said, how's it looking? Imagine she just says like, I hate it. Okay, so she likes it. I think she got disconnected. All right, it looks like she's back on my neighborhood. So I'm just waiting for her to spawn in. You know what? I'm wondering if she spawned in on Riverside because all the plots on my side of the server are empty. What is happening? This doesn't look like Bloxburg. So we can start working on the house again because she joined. So apparently she disconnected and she said she's being really laggy. So I guess that makes sense. Okay, so it looks like she has some flowers in her inventory, so I hope she doesn't mind if I just put some on this table here. Okay, it looks like this vase doesn't fit those flowers, so this one does, so that's good. Well, I'm thinking we can have a nice green vase. Yeah, I like that. Oh, and then what's her gardening level? Okay, so she does have enough gardening level for an organic tree, so I think I'm going to buy a tire swing organic tree. Actually, I want to move this little piss- First, I want to move this little picnic basket set up over to uh, this area right here under this little trellis arch. Yeah, this area is so cozy. I love it. So before she had a blanket, she had this blanket. That blanket goes into the floor. So I was adding like a folded blanket. Oh, wait, you know what? I forgot that Bloxburg just added. They added a picnic blanket. So we're going to have one of those picnic blankets instead that they just added. All right, I think that looks good. And then 
Now we can finally move everything back over. All right, so I think I'm going to delete those rough trees so I can have a nice, big, juicy, organic tree right here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I just asked for her opinion if the organic tree is too big. Personally, I think it looks good, but I just want her opinion first before. Okay, she thinks it's too big, so, you know what, I think I'm gonna... Wait, I can't resize the tire swing one, so I'm going to have to buy this one so I can resize it. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is replace the mailbox because, I don't know, I just want one that's a little more like rustic. Okay, mailboxes have no right to be that expensive. Like when I first joined the game, it shocked me how expensive a new mailbox was. And then maybe we can replace the trash can too just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay, I like what she did with this gloomy lantern right here. So what I think I'm gonna do is just place gloomy lanterns like randomly throughout the yard just to give it like more light. Yeah, I like that. So what I want is a fence around here so no one can just like walk into this area. But I don't want to use a big fence right there because I don't want it to cover this really pretty yard, so. What I think I'm going to do is have a big fence on this side like she had before. And then what we can do is have like a really small fence against like, like maybe just this fence against right here. And I'm going to leave a little opening for her mailbox though. So. And then don't worry, I'm not going to leave this farm fence to be that bright of a color. I think I'm going to make it flint. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Ooh, and then what I think I'm going to do is I can kind of close off this garden right here and then add like a little gate. Yeah, I think that looks all right. And then and then I want to go into the garden section and see like what she can buy with the gardening level she's at. Okay, it looks like she is gardening level four probably because the organic tree needs level four, but she doesn't have level five. And then I want some sunflowers just kind of up here. And then I think... I kind of want this garden to be less like random, if you know what I mean. Like I want the plants to be less like scattered everywhere. I like that for the garden, although I don't know if this is weird or not, but I kind of want to color these mushrooms to be flint. Like I just don't want them to like, like stand out as much. Like surprise, here's some pink mushrooms. Like, and then I think we can copy the same concept on the other side. Wow, the lights are something that I definitely would have added if they weren't already there, like, but since they're already there, I'm gonna copy it and put it here too. All right, and then I just kinda wanna rearrange the garden again like I did on the other side. For safety reasons, I'm going to move the cactuses away from the picnic basket. You know, I think I'm going to add some more of these compact bushes just so I can like kind of put plants around them a little bit. Now, I'm definitely not getting rid of the pine trees because I love those pine trees. I like that as the garden. I didn't really change much about it because I already think it looked really nice in my opinion. I honestly forgot that Bloxburg had like bird baths and stuff in the game. All right, how's it looking so far? You know what? I think it looks really nice so far. All right, now I'm going in and coloring all the shutters. Do you remember like 2018 Bloxburg when Everything had to be linen. So what I think I might do is add another one of these picnic blankets on the front porch. You know what, I always feel like I make houses more like detailed and I put more effort into building when I'm building for other people. Cause when I build for myself, I feel like it's like really basic, but when I build for other people, the builds are like really detailed, so. All right, I think that is a nice little front yard area. So what I think I wanna work on next is the backyard. I wanna switch it up a little bit and do the backyard next. What I think I'm gonna do for the backyard is delete all these plants and kinda of start fresh. You know what, we'll keep a few plants, but mostly. And then again, the roof out here was in different like pieces. So I deleted it because I'm going to redo the roof. So sometime in the future, I'm hoping to turn this into a series where I renovate subscribers' houses in Bloxburg. I'm definitely going to keep the plates because I'm too lazy to like reset the table in mugs, but I'm going to delete this table and exchange it for like the log table. Or you know what would look even better? 
picnic table. You know, I think I'm going to make this table like a dark version of linen. Yeah, I like that. So now what I think I'm going to do is add a little cobblestone floor under the picnic table and then do my little build hack again so so i like that and i think it could use a little more gardening okay wait a minute oh my gosh she has a little custom little gazebo we are so not doing that i thought that was an item like in the game but apparently she custom made that i love that swing set and then i'm definitely keeping the pool wait a minute do they have like sprinklers that can go on like Oh yeah, that's right, I can't have blocks books items. I love these stepping stones, but um, I think I want to do a few different ones, just kind of clean up the path a little bit. What I want to do instead is use these stepping stones just for like a little bit of a cleaner look, kind of. One thing it could use in the back, just a couple lights like right here, just so it's not as like dark and mysterious. I think I just want to replace that pool ladder with this one just because I think this one looks a little bit nicer. Just to make it like a little brighter at night, one thing she could use is these pool lights. And you know what? I kind of want to make them blue so it like some mysterious blue glow. Oh, and then she has a little barbecue right here. So I think that I'm going to move that just right here. So I think I'm going to use the tire swing organic tree. And then it gives a little like cabana more privacy. I don't know if this is safe to have around an all wooden house, but we can have a couple tiki torches. To make the fire not as like harsh, we'll make it like a flint fire, yeah. And then when I renovate this bedroom later, I kind of want to rearrange it to where instead of a window right here, it's a door so like this bedroom can go out into the backyard. And I know she liked hurricane gray, so I think we can have some hurricane gray curtains on this. And you know what? This bed already looks really nice, so I think I'm going to leave that bedding. Oh, and you thought I was done? No, more gloomy lanterns. One thing we can have next to our pool is just these relaxed sun chairs. And on here we can have this little sunscreen. And then we can have a little towel. I feel like that's the backyard done. So now it's time to work on the inside. So the first thing I want to work on in here is the entryway. We can have a little hook rack. And then we can put like a towel on it and pretend it's like coats. I think nice plaid jackets go with this house really well. And I like the wood for the walls, but I think we can just do normal plastic for the interior. Since she wanted like a cozy rustic, I think this lamp looks pretty cozy. All right, so she did have some slippers. So I want to add those again and put them like under this chair now. All right, and you know what? We'll give her some paint. All right, so I think that's her entryway done. And so now she has a little office on, oh my god, she did the carpet hack. So I love the potted hanging vine, so I think I'm gonna keep that, but I think I'm gonna replace the cabinets. You know, I think I kinda want like a fresh start, just like, we'll keep some things, like this lemon bowl, we'll keep that lemon bowl. First off, I wanna color all these wall trims to be like flint. So I feel like these arched counters give more of like a rustic vibe. Oh, some of these arched counters. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to ask how a green kitchen sounds because I really want like to do a green kitchen. You know what? We're going to do it and if she said she doesn't want a green kitchen, then we'll recolor it. She's okay with the green kitchen. So you know back here, we're going to have a utensil rack and some pans. And then why don't we have a little like cutting board right here? Ooh, and then why don't we have some peanut butter and jelly next to it? So we can have like... And instead of using the Bloxburg peanut butter and jelly, because, you know, I feel like those would kind of ruin the vibe. Like, so I'm going to use these jars because it would look more like aesthetic if so. This one, be the jelly, and then we can have like our knives right here next to it. And I already like the color of these mugs, so we're going to place a few more of these. Although, you know what, I'm, we're going to have one of these mugs here, and then if we search... They have like actual like coffee mugs right here. So we'll have some like tea mugs then. Wait a minute, she did the Alexa build hack. Not you. Oh my God, my Alexa literally turned on. So we're going to need to delete the Alexa for now. And then I'll just re-add it later because when I deleted the counter, it would delete it with it. So 
And you know what? She had some potted hanging vines, so we're going to put those back on top of the counters. Oh my gosh, wait, I love this. Okay, we're keeping that, and then, well, you know what? We need some more for our microwave to go, so we'll put our microwave. You know what? We'll put our microwave, like, right here. And then I'm not going to change anything about these stools because they already fit the vibe like really well. So I think that's the kitchen all complete. And now the next room, or actually the next room I wanna work on is this little build hack right here. Love this build hack, but I think I wanna do the more simple way to do it like just with the basic shape. So we'll keep a lot about this. I love the shelves next to it. Like what one thing that I hate about Bloxburg is that there's like no way to tell if your stools are facing the right way unless they have like a back on them. So what I wanna do is add the beveled cube. And you're probably wondering why. It's because I'm gonna have like a little cushion. So yeah, now we have a little cushion. I think this plaid looks really nice. It does support like that whole cozy rustic vibe. So if you get these convex paintings, right? And you can like place them wow. on here. So you have like a little, so you have little like panels. Oh, I love how she has the little notice board right here. So I think that's this little like nook done. Wait, no, I forgot pillows. You know what? I want to make these as big and chunky as they get. I have like these same pillows, but I have them in like gray. So if I make it like a little darker, oh my God, that literally looks exactly like some pillows that I have. What we can have is just like a little blanket right here. Let's make it nice and cozy. We can have like a little floor lamp just like in the corner right here. Yeah, all right. I think that looks good for this area. And so now we can start working on the living room. All right, so you already know then I'm going to be adding the big, chunky stone fireplace right here. Because you know, it just makes it like look rustic. I just can't get over how nice this house is coming together. We're going to give her a flint bookshelf. Yeah, and then alongside that flint bookshelf, we'll have this little pillar. Yeah, all right, I like that. We'll give her the AccuSlim TV. Is that, that centered, centered though? So you know what, we'll move this plant over here and then, oh, look, this TV stand is even called Rustic TV Stand. This is turning out to be like the nicest house I've ever like built in Bloxburg before. And I think I'm going to swap out these couches with different ones and this coffee table, but I'm going to leave the rug. Why don't we scale this rug to be really big so it takes up like the whole living room floor. All right, I like that and so why don't we make it wicker? She wanted a COVID. <coughs> she wanted a cozy rustic vibe. We'll give her some log sofas. But like, don't worry, I won't leave them like ugly, but. And you know what? We'll steal some pillows from this little reading nook right here. We need to resize them because they're too big. You know what? I almost feel like this living room is kind of wintry, but I'm not mad about it because then she won't have to like renovate it for like the winter. Ooh, and then what we can do is we can grab a semi-transparent basic cube and we can like kind of give this table like a little glass layer. All right, I think that looks pretty nice. And then I kind of want to replace the chandelier with... <coughs> All right, I think that looks good for the living room. This is a really big house. Imagine I had to turn this house renovation into a series because of how big it is. Oh, and then we can even have some like china dishes. And you know, I feel like this house could definitely hold like many family role plays. I don't know if Jess is really a role player, but like this house is low key making me want to join the role play community. Zone, zone do it. Okay, so she just disconnected again. A few moments later. All right, so she's back on and now I'm just gonna wait for co-owner. I just realized how detailed this house is because how long it took to load in, like it's so detailed. All right. She actually upped my budget by like $30,000. So I think that's pretty good for the dining room. And now what I think I am gonna do next is this little downstairs bedroom. Cause she has a laundry room and a bathroom downstairs. And then she has this little bedroom. So, so I think this is just a generic like teen bedroom. So I think I'm gonna just do cloudy gray for the walls. 
make it really neutral. What I wanna do is move the bed to be like along this wall. Yeah, I, I really like it along that wall because then this way we can have like a door right here instead of a window. And then I kind of want a new dresser in here. Just one that's like a little more like rustic. Yeah, I like this one, the fancy dresser. And then on this dresser, I think we can have, you know what, I think we can have a couple of these storage cubes. Ooh, and then we could have a little feature wall in here. I think that's good for the downstairs bedroom. And now I wanna start working on this little laundry room. Now, I actually love how this house has a laundry room because I always forget to make laundry rooms like in my builds. That's something I want to start doing like more is making laundry rooms. Oh, and I can see she wanted it to like match the kitchen. So I think that we can have a little arched half cabinet. All right, and then next to it, I want to have like this pantry cabinet because then we could do a little washer and dryer stacked build hack. So you'll need like the pantry cabinet and then you can like stack the washer in the dryer on top of each other then. It always bothers me how there's that little space there. So what I like to do is like to put like cleaning supplies in there and then we'll make sure she's stocked up on laundry detergent in case another pandemic happens. We wanna be ready. Oh, and then before we're done with this laundry room, I wanna add some more custom wallpaper. All right, so now that we have our new washer and dryer, we can delete it on this wall. All right, so I completely forgot that Bloxburg added these like clotheslines. So we can have some little like clothes on here. Ooh, and then we could have like tile for the walls in the laundry room. Oh yeah, one thing Bloxburg does have is this like ironing board. So maybe if we move this like lamp right here, we could have an ironing board. So that's the laundry room done. And now we can start, wait, let me just make sure the lighting looks okay. Why don't we start working on her downstairs bathroom and then we can finally move upstairs. For the majority of this bathroom, I want it to be custom wallpaper. Cause I want this to be like a modern rustic bathroom. So what I think we can do is I kind of want to delete the bathtub and then we can do like a little wall like right here so then we can have like a little shower moment and then we need this little uh, bath mat just so we make sure we don't like slip and fall I don't really like the frame on that mirror so I think I'm just going to use like a borderless mirror okay so she added some more pillows to the reading nook and I really like it Although the blankets are kind of covering my build hack, but it's okay. You know what? So why don't we have one of those mirrors that's like on a rope? So I really like that. And then we can have, I like this elegant counter, this elegant sink. You know what? What I'm thinking is maybe keep one of these shelves and then we can have a little cabinet. Let me just make sure the lighting looks okay. You can't forget toilet paper. So we'll have this toilet paper stand right here. And then we can have some like soap. So this is the bathroom. I think it turned out pretty well. What I think I'm gonna do is finish the upstairs by myself, and then I'll surprise you at the end of the video because I don't want this video to be too long. So yeah, I guess I'll see you when it's time for the tour. It's time for the tour. So this is the outside. So yeah, this is the front. And so yeah, let's Go we'll do the tour now. So this is the living room, the dining room, and a little kitchen. So, and then we have this little reading nook. I tried to keep as many aspects of the before as I could. So yeah, and then we have a little reading nook right here. And let's head outside. So here's a little backyard. And then we have this little eating area right here. To keep it nice and summery, I added some tiki torches. Again, probably not safe to have right by a wooden house, but it's fine, it's Bloxburg. And then if we go in here, here's a little bathroom. I tried to mix like cottage core and rustic for the bathrooms. This is her new and improved laundry room. And so if we go in here, we have 
another bedroom. I kind of changed the layout of the bedroom a little bit. So there used to be a window here and the bed used to be on this wall, but I changed the layout so I could have a door right there. So yeah, I think this turned out really nice. And so I forgot the garage. Heading on upstairs. I mean, the hallway, I mean, I left it pretty basic just because it's like a hallway. It's not like you spend most of your time in like a hallway. So in here, we have a little twins bedroom. I didn't change much. I just made it kind of neutral. There's the closet. I didn't really need to change much about the closet. And then here is the nursery. She said she wanted it to be a girl nursery. So I made the walls pink. So then if we go on across the hall, we have this bathroom, which I definitely think turned out really nice. I love the shower so much. Oh my God, I feel so bad. She's lagging. Like I would take the longest showers in here if this was my house. If we go on in to the office, I tried to do the carpet hack and I kind of screwed up on it. If you can't tell what I'm talking about, I hope this helps. All right. So here's the office, then we have the master bedroom, which like I would take the fattest naps in that bed. So that was me renovating my subscriber's house in Bloxburg. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you want your house renovated, all you have to do is be subscribed. And for an extra chance to be in a video like this, you can join my Discord server. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.